KM book. Oh crap, I'm so nervous about this. This is my first time going overseas since 2019. And I just decided I wanted to do this two days before the flight. <laughs> I guess that's it. Pain book. That is, <laughs> it's mental man. I've got so much to do. Oh my goodness. Woo! I'm going to Milan! Twenty-five hours of travel. The joys of living in Australia. Oh, the bed feels so good. All right, I'm gonna have a shower and then, uh, and then we'll get to ECMA. Well, I made it. Bus and a train had no idea where the hell I was going. So today's a press day. That means that it's not open to the public and it's open to media personnel only and because I only booked this trip three days ago I hadn't actually booked tickets I hadn't organized anything so last night when I landed I quickly put together a little press kit send it off to ECMA and I woke up this morning with the whole week included so I'm just gonna bring along for the ride and see what happens ECMO is the world's largest annual motorcycle and accessories exhibition. With over 2,000 brands present, the sheer magnitude of this event can easily be described as a sensory overload. There was just so much to see with so much going on. I mean, I'm used to camping solo in the wilderness, and this was far from that. my first proper coffee in Milan. Oh man, so smooth. And then I got this focaccia. My first meal since the plane. <laughs> Obviously it's gonna taste good, but it tastes ridiculously good. What the hell? This is Juan. We've been working <laughs> together for the past two years and yesterday was the very first time we actually met each other in person, which is crazy. Italy, he's the man. He's the guy that allows me to do what I do for a living. So, love you man, woo! As the days ticked over, the public started to roll in and that's where ECMA exploded into life. Gormoto, he takes the best damn images on Instagram, hands down. Look who it is! Oh, it's you! <laughs> this, yeah. this is an old one, hey? Old yeah. photo. Yeah, Namibia, 2000, I don't know, three years ago. Same bike? Uh, that's yeah, is that chilly? It's chilly. Are, so, we, are we rolling? Yes, we are rolling. Oh, right. Yes, we are. Terrible. No professional? Terrible. I went camping with Kinga in April, oh, April last, last year. Last year, that's right, yeah. Kinga was the main reason why I started my camping channel. So I have I have Kinga to thank for that. Yes. I was too I was way too scared to do that by myself. She was the influence. She got me we going, she camping. pushed me, yeah. And she said just do it. The first time's weird. It was very weird by the way. Yeah, it was I, 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 with me. <laughs> I was terrified. I was actually really? terrified. Because I went my very first spot I went to, there was no reception and it was one of the shortest nights of the year. Yeah. So it was so dark, it was very dark for a very long time. I had no entertainment, and so I was just sitting there in my own thoughts, oh. hearing noises, getting freaked out. 
But then I kept doing it, and um, and the channel was a huge success. So I have it. I have Kingo to uh, thank for that. So you're thank welcome. you. Thank you're you. You've done very well. You've done very well. What a legend. What are you doing now? Just like hanging around and looking at the bikes and talking to people. It's so cool. It's good fun, it's huh? My, it's my first time in Adachma, so I'm Oh, it's my first time too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah. This could be my next bike, unsure. I think you'll understand why I'd want to get it. Could you see me riding one of those? I think it's the next step for my enduro career, but I don't know. Get rid of these, paint it all black, deck it out, lights. I like them though, they're good, they look sick. The new Himalayan. Juan doesn't like it. I don't. I don't mind it. I reckon it looks good. The new tank shape. It sort of sticks out. It's a bit more aggressive. I like the front end. I feel like that's more just athletic sort of style. But from their previous one, I reckon it's a mad improvement. And they're marketing it really well. They're riding the Himalayas in the Himalayas, which I'll be doing in June next year. That's gonna be pretty cool. I'd be mad if I had these new ones. Insta360 have graciously offered me the opportunity to ride around Lake Como to shoot some content with the new Ace Pro action camera. The only problem was I didn't have any riding gear. Luckily, I was in the right place to find some. They're helping me out today. They've just given me a helmet for a trip to Lake Como on Friday. So thank you so much. You. Premier of the best. Woo! <laughs> doosh, doosh. <laughs> so we have a helmet, which is good. Now all I need is a jacket and gloves. Oh, we need a bike. <laughs> I think the bike will be okay. This one, look. The dream bike right there. So I'm here at John Doe, seeing if these guys can help me out. What do you think? I think we found me a jacket. Thank you so much, Francesco. Let's get a Lake Como. <laughs> second time ever riding in Europe and like oh it just does not disappoint hey it's so good it's so good far out I can't believe this I can't believe I'm here these twisties and these maple leaves and cobblestone walls and everything but this has just been spectacular wow I'm only like I don't know a third into my ride <laughs> look at this man look at this what the hell there's an observatory there the tiny observatory. The gentleman that lent me the bike was an absolute legend and he mapped out the proper ride, you know, taking me through all the towns and all the twisties, which is awesome. Let's keep on exploring this. This is <laughs> this is crazy, man. <laughs>
You Italians are spoiled. This is insane. I can't believe how beautiful this land is. Wow, I'm staring at snowy ice caps. There's all the seaplanes, I don't know if you can see it. Tiny seaplane is cruising. I feel like I'm getting the hang of the whole driving on the right hand side of the road. In Australia, we have to drive on the left hand side. I was wigging out about that a little bit, gotta be honest. But it seems fine. I think it'll be harder in a car because the cars, you know, that'll trip me out for sure. The Desert X. This is cool. I'm, you know, getting acquainted with it and it's feeling, it's feeling nice. It's definitely got some, got some balls, you know. Quick shift, all the riding modes. I'm enjoying it. It's really nice. This little ride has been the best thing. You know, every time you visit a country, you just hire a motorbike, go for a ride, because like, you know, you get to see this. Riding through the villages, riding around the mountains, smelling the coffee as you're riding through. It was just, it's just insane. But I do have to go, I've got to end it here. I've got to pin it back. I keep saying that, but I do. I keep stopping at these amazing locations because I just can't get past it. Wow. I just imagine living in a place like this, you know? It's so quiet, so peaceful. I've got to press on, I'm running out of time. Continue. Dunk. Wow. And another prime spot. <laughs> it's just full of them. It has to be a good life, man. This is, that's crazy. This is summertime, get for a swim. But I still got about an hour and a half or more to get home. It's gonna get really cold, it's gonna get really dark. And the hiring company won't be happy if I drop it off very late. Just, I'd, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll just stay for five minutes longer. <laughs> That is the queue to the security gate. On the media days, we walk straight through. And uh, we've got 20 minutes, less than 20 minutes, hey? I don't want to say, mate. To get to this Insta360 <laughs> desk. Oh, oh man, crap. <laughs> today, being a Saturday, means crowds were in the tens of thousands. And today, also being my birthday, meant that we had a kind of relaxed birthday morning and didn't really anticipate the mass crowd. Moto Bob and I were running late to our full tank motorcycle podcast interview at Insta360. Welcome back everybody to another episode of the Full Tank Motorcycle Podcast. It's me, Rob, from the YouTube channel Moto Bob. We're at Eichma in Milan. Who better than Rob of the famous channel Motorfields and Rob Hamilton. Double Rob. Triple Rob. <laughs> so yeah, we've had the opportunity to hang out a little bit. We're at Insta360 stand who sponsor both of us, which is very nice indeed. Yes. But also we've been cohabiting for a couple of days and it's been pretty awesome. The show is mind-blowing, isn't it? It is. It's, uh, it's very busy today, as you can probably tell in the background. We had the press day right at the beginning where it was sort of pretty quiet. Then it's more of an industry day the next day and it gets a little bit busier. And then it's, and then it's getting busier it's and busier chaos. and busier <laughs> until you can barely move. Uh, but we thought we'd take the opportunity to sit down, have a chat and find out a little bit about Rob, the work he does, the bikes he likes. And we'll talk a little bit maybe about cameras as well, given that we're here at Insta360. Yes. I've only ridden in Europe twice. Once I uh, was in Switzerland, it was my very first YouTube channel. Right. Just the, just the action camera on the front, and then just hitting through the twisties on an old school BMW R80. Oh, and it was nice. amazing. And then this time on a Desert X, obviously <laughs> a little bit more advanced in technology. And then, yeah, riding around all Lake Caramo. I've never been there before, obviously. And it was, yeah, it was an incredible experience. Well, how did the Desert X compare to Tenere then? So, yeah, the, the Desert X is definitely faster, probably a bit more mm. athletic. You have you have all the different riding modes, you can adjust how much engine braking you want in all the different riding modes, suspension, like not suspension, but traction control, ABS, all that sort of stuff. So you have all this tech, which is fun, it's cool, but I feel like for me, if I'm gonna be doing some enduro stuff, mm. I want something that's a lot more basic. So the T7 literally just has one button, ABS on and off, yeah. and that's it. <laughs> so like, talk us through your camera rig, maybe this is just for my satisfaction, but sure. I'd love for uh, uh, anyone who likes cameras back home listening to maybe find out as well, what sort of things do you take with you to capture a trip? Yep. Um, so I have my, my main camera. I use a Lumix S5. Yep. Um, that's for when I'm at the campsite. I have it on a tripod, uh, Rode Video Mic Pro, and that's my that's my campsite setup. Got it. And that's it. When I'm riding, I have a PAV um, helmet mount camera. My main camera that I use 
is the Insta360 X3. If it's in front of you, you're getting an angle right to the right in front, nice and smooth. You've got one back at your face. You've got one to the side. You can look up in the sky if you want. Yeah. And that's just from that one mount. Yeah. And then I can bring it around. I like to get it nice and close to the road, yeah. so you get that sense of movement. Um, you can watch the suspension do some work, and I'll just move that around, and that's it. So it's a fairly minimal setup, it and is. actually, like maybe that's kind of inspiring for people to know that you can make videos that get three, four million views or whatever on your second one without having to have a crew, like you say, or buy the most fancy cameras. A lot of it you can do with, you know, an SLR, a tripod, a decent audio setup, and then something on the bike to yeah. capture that riding footage. Exactly. And I think also just encourage people to think about. Exactly like you say, using chin-mounted footage as little as possible. I think YouTube's just become full of people riding around, chatting into that. Yeah, exactly, their, absolutely. What can you add, even with your phone, just taking little B-roll clips and, yeah. and that sort of thing. So yeah. over the f three, four days we've been here, half the show, maybe a little bit more, 60%. It's, for us, it's been just about trying to get to the stands that have the bikes that we're most excited to see. Uh, but for you, you've maybe just been wandering around a little bit more, trying to take it in. Is there anything specifically that's caught your eye as impressive or exciting for the next you know, model year? Oh, I don't know. Not really. <laughs> One of the biggest things about ECMA that I enjoyed is I've been working with these brands for the past couple of years, and I yeah. finally got to meet pretty much all of them. Yeah. And it was just nice having a bit of a face-to-face -face communication, have a chat. Uh, it's so nice to just be around people and, and meet people and- uh, Like yourself. Exactly. It's good to meet you, yeah. Uh, well, you were top of the list and then the brands and then Juan who manages our brand deals down the bottom probably. Yeah. But. <laughs> Here he is. <laughs> What an experience it has been there. I'm so glad I decided to come here two days out from when I left. Considering the time limit that I had to prepare, I did quite a lot. That ride yesterday was epic. Italy is amazing. It's the best place ever. I'll be back next year, 100%. Can yeah, I say something on that? Yeah, it's rolling. Well, just that like, you know, all the time in the UK, we're hearing that less and less people, fewer and fewer, sorry, are riding bikes, but I thought it was crazy just how many people were there. <laughs> And also how many young people, gives me a bit of hope, I might start the job. <laughs> yeah, that's right, I know, that's right. We just need to tap into the Italian market now. Yes, the Italian, every the Italian single crew. new bike, there was you know, hundreds of people around each one. So Rob smashed out 16 videos this, over the three days, four days? Yeah, yeah, 16 yeah, yeah. videos, man. It's different though, you know, you're more of a, um, you're more of a, of a vibe, whereas my channel is just about as many bikes as possible. And yeah. I'm just a, a vehicle for vehicles, if you will, so yeah. It was busy. It but was, it was busy. good. Check out his channel. He's he's got all the all the goods on all the bikes. Thank you very much. And right now we're gonna just chill on the balcony for my birthday. It is my birthday today. Sunset. This is the first time we've been home this early. We got the beers, mate. We got the beers, bro. Nice. Here he is, mate. Get over here. Wow, this is beautiful. Right. <laughs> you talking? Are you vlogging, man? Come on. <laughs> 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 Cheers to you. I'll see you in the next vid. What did you just say that was bad at the end of the video? Again, again. I don't know how people use these. You gotta make sure that the buttons don't get pressed. It just takes forever, man. Bring back my quadlock. All right. Oh, now I gotta pull all this back off. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> 